2022, Microsoft released the desktop version of Excel Office Scripts. As far as I know, Microsoft is bringing this new functionality uh, to Excel Desktop using the WebView 2 technology. So let's see how it works. So I have a file here open in Excel Online. Um, it's called Great Art Desktop Test. The uh, script is called Great Art Desktop Test as well. So um, let's run the uh, script to see how it should operate in Excel Online. As you can see, it's just a basic uh, script to color some cells. Okay, so that's the script um, finished. So let's see how um, the script will run in Excel Desktop. So what we do is we go to the editing icon and we open in Desktop App. Now we have the code editor already open. So let's see what happens in Desktop. So we have the files opened, we have the uh, coloured cells displaying already, but we don't have the pane, the pane, the code pane hasn't opened. Now, what um, Microsoft have done is that they've associated the scripting functionality and the pane with a button only, and it uh, operates through a button only. So let's go back to um, the Excel Online. We we'll close the Excel desktop version. And then we'll create a button. So we've created the button. So let's operate the script through the button first just to test everything's working fine. So I think we can see the colors are changing there. Okay, so that's working fine. So we'll go back to the uh, edit icon, open it in desktop now that we have the button. We'll let that fully open. And let's run the script by clicking the button. There is no automate menu as you can see. So now we can see the script pane has opened. So there's no way of opening a script pane without the button. So now we can see it running. Interestingly, it looks like it's going a lot faster. I mean, four to five times faster. So if we actually click on the script pane here, we'll actually get the code editor displayed. We're seeing that the script is being displayed in read-only mode. Let's see if we can increase the size. If we try to change the script, we can't. It's not responding to the keyboard. So it is definitely in read-only mode. So let's run a test where we have two scripts running against this Excel desktop file at the same time and see if the file updates live and if there are any conflict issues with the scripts. They are, after all, running against the same file. So for this test, we're going to have to create a Power Automate flow that uh, runs a script for us against this file. Um, we're going to run um, this script in the desktop by clicking the button, but simultaneously or at approximately the same time, we're gonna have a flow run um, against this file. Um, and it's going to be uh, the same script 
So it's actually going to be calling exactly the same script. So um, if we have a look at what's happening in Excel online at this point, we can see that it's offering us the option to resume editing here. Now, the interesting thing is that this file um, is not locked as such because we are able to edit it. It is open in Excel uh, desktop, but it's also open in Excel online. And um, the, the best way I can think about describing this is is that it's a mirror um, image of the file. Um, it's effectively one file, but open in two applications at exactly the same time. So I'm going to leave the file in this state. Okay, so I've set the test up. I have the flow um, on the left. You can see that it's a manual trigger uh, with a run script action. Um, it's re referencing the Excel file. Uh, it has two scripts, uh, one that uh, colors cells uh, in the Excel desktop file uh, in rows 1 to 10, and another script in rows uh, 14 to 24. Now, this is because we want to visually see the two scripts running on the same file and um, if uh, the script is, is running on the same rows, you literally can't see. So I've separated them by creating two scripts. Now the flow uh, will run uh, the script called Great Art Desktop Test Flow, and the button in the Excel Desktop will run the script Great Art Desktop Test. Um, the only difference is in the uh, the range uh, numbers. So let's have a go. So I'm going to do the flow first. Right, go. Let me go to Excel, click the button, and hopefully we'll see two regions start colouring at the same time. So it looks like the both scripts ran on the same file at the same time, though there did appear to be an interruption. So let's just test that again to see if that's correct or not. So the flow will appear uh, if, if from rows 14 onwards, and the desktop script will start at row one. So we have the desktop flow, our script started first. So we saw there that while the desktop script was running, the flow triggered script ran at the same time on the same workbook um, and there was no conflict. That